We are going to create a banner using some of the new features that Clip Studio Paint has implemented in its new version 2.0 that was just released. I'm going to be using the new text implementations and the new Align Distribute features. First, we're going to create a new document of 160 by 600 pixels and a resolution of 72 dpi. We're going to import our files and adjust their position on the canvas. We are going to write our text each line separately and we're going to center them. We want to change the color, thickness and size of the text, so we'll select the text boxes of the ones we want to have the same style and change them at the same time. We can add or remove from the selection with the object tool property. When we have all the text changed, instead of placing all the text in one box and changing the line space, we'll distribute vertical spacing to make the space between each line of text even. This way we have more freedom when we want to change the placement of each word. Then we'll align it to the canvas. With the align feature you can do it easily just with a click instead of finding the middle of the canvas, marking it with a guide and positioning it manually. We'll add two shapes behind the text, one block of color and an outline. We'll distort it by selecting it and moving it to create an offset style. We'll repeat the same with the rest of the text of the banner, also adding some shapes behind. We can select multiple text boxes and change their text properties as long as we select the selected text at the text tool properties. If we want to change the properties for new text but not change the one that's already selected, we'll select the new only at the text tool properties. This way we can change the selected text and still have some default properties for the next text we create, instead of having to change them manually every time we modify some already existing text back to our default properties. When we are done with the text, we'll add the images, also using some color shapes behind them. We'll create a group with them and align the group to the canvas. We're almost done, we just need two other websites at the bottom of the page, put a color behind it and align both the shape and the text to the canvas.